guys and welcome back to another FPV guy video. Today I'm getting a bit of an insider's view at Skyrocket in Culver City in California. And you, you have been watching my videos and the things we were amazed about like say four or five years ago, you know where just getting a drone to hang still in GPS was like a bloody miracle. Nowadays it's becoming a consumer thing and it's becoming more consumer than you would have ever thought. And the reason I'm here today is because Skyrocket and one of my really good friends, Matt, have, are coming out with a brand new product that is a hackable, hackable Adreno flight controller drone for 150 bucks. So basically what we were looking at five years ago is now a consumer product. And I'm like going, oh my God, there's a flight controller in here that you can hack. There's a GPS unit, a 720 camera, and a pair of FPV goggles for your phone, so there is some delay, but it still is an FPV quad that you can fly goggles for 150 bucks, which is, let's get real, fucking unreal. <laughs> <laughs> so here you have it, Matt is sitting next to me, and what I'm gonna do is pan over here, and you should be able to see both of us. Hello. So Matt, when yeah. we first started flying drones, we were putting together some pretty big aircrafts. Oh yeah and we were pretty happy if they stayed in place with GPS. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. yeah no, it, uh, I think we both have witnessed the, the crashes of our you know, carbon fiber hex frames that we had spent oh. months putting together and finally getting to fly right after lots of blood, sweat, and tears. And, and, and I remember we were always so thrilled whenever the things were flying. Oh yes, it when, it, like, when it actually did what it did, that was that was such a euphoric high that we couldn't come down. You that guys probably haven't been flying for this long, but there was days where we had more f more crashing time than flying time. Well, the the old phrase at the field is, if you're not crashing, you're not flying. So, but that's not really applying that much anymore because no, people are so not crashing their phantoms right and left. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> there are people that does. <laughs> So the drone you have been working about, talk to me, what is so cool here? Okay, so we're basically taking one of our, uh, our streaming frame that's been popular from 2016 and this year 2017. It's one of our best flying frames. And what we wanted to do was put a uh, really good flight code on it with really good GPS. And that's what we're doing this year. So it's... What do you mean good flight code? Okay, well by good flight code I, I mean what I consider to be the best flying software out there in the multi-rotor uh, community right now and that's ardrupilot.org's Ardrucopter. So that's what I first started with back in the day. It was an old APM 2.1 board and then I went to 2.5 and 2.6 and so I was flying... You know you're dating APM. yourself right now as a, as a drone dating pilot. Myself. This little tiny flight board. Okay, and that kind of looks like what I've seen lately as a teeny whoop yes. board. So oh, this... yeah, yeah. Uh, we built some whoops around here with uh, our our past flight boards that has the same So what form we have factor. here is a flight controller, mm -hmm. and then we have built-in ESCs, and there's four power outs here. It, this, this drives a brushed motor frame. Not right. brushless, but brushed motor frame. And this has also the radio chip set on it and everything. So, barometer? Yep, barometer. So uh, it's got altitude hold. Altitude hold. And uh, this one component here does accelerometer, gyro, and barometer all in one. But the beauty of this is this form factor runs pure Ardrucopter code. So, so this is a full-on Ardrucopter chip? Yes. This is an Ardrucopter flight board. But for okay. brushless, but or you, for brushed motors. But but I'm sure I'm, I'll be locked out. I can't go in and edit this. Not at all. You absolutely can. You have full access. That was part of our agreement. We partnered with the brilliant minds at ardrupilot.org this year to bring kind of our elite frame, uh, our premier frame to the uh, to the market. And uh, by the way, the, the box that you showed here with the FPV goggles, this is exclusive only to Toys R Us. But, but, <laughs> and, and, and actually, but you can still say, buy this, this is, without the goggles. This is but. a pre-pro run box. Yeah. So the box won't look exactly like it this. It might look a little different. But yeah. it's going to come with the aircraft, the goggles. The goggles are uh, exclusive goggles to Toys R Us. Yeah. Oh, right over there. Oh. Yep. So basically, let's just take it. So this is the... May I open this? Absolutely. 
So this is there's the several bundle. things in this place that Matt has said, no, 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 that can't be in picture. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't look over there. <laughs> that that board can't be, and those drawings cannot be in the video. So I have like been told, no, 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 everywhere I go. Here you're looking at a pair of goggles. It's it's the usual thing. There's nothing really new. You just slide this straw out, throw your phone into it, and now you're flying FPV. Of course, it's going to be a little bit of a delay. It is video. it is Wi-Fi. It's not analog, so there is a little uh, more uh, latency than a true uh, FPV 5.8 setup. Uh, but our uh, app, as soon as you hit the button for the goggle mode, it splits it into stereoscopic. So when okay, you're yeah, so in you're the goggles, two lenses here. Yep. And you're fully dioptic spread and, and focus adjustable and whatnot. And these goggles come in a bundle that is exclusive to Toys R Us. But you can you can find this drone also at uh, Target and Amazon. But it won't have the the goggles. It won't have the goggles. So if you want the goggles, which I do, Toys R Us is the ticket. Now the other thing, of course, what's so really unique here? This is a Pixhawk flight controller. You guys recognize the gazillion pins, and it's actually what I would call a naked Pixhawk flight controller because it usually comes in a really nifty little semi-transparent plastic case. This is about 150 bucks. This, including the aircraft, is about 150 bucks. Exactly, and that's what's so amazing. Is this we... was two years ago. Yeah, this, this is, is now. now, and right now, a fin. This has 720p and a camera, no no gimbal. But no it's gimbal. recording 720p and there is a micro SD card on board. So whenever you have a micro SD card on board, it's going to be recording to that card. You get the best video recording to the micro SD. That's 30 frames Yeah, the, the streaming down becomes less frames, I'm sure. Yeah, streaming to your phone, I think if you hit record on that, I believe it's 15 or 20 frames per second. But your best video will be recording to the micro SD card, absolutely. So what I'm really seeing here is we have an aircraft that you can use for your vacation selfies for 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. And if it gets lost in Yosemite, where by the way, you're not supposed you're to fly not supposed these. supposed to fly in Yosemite. Yeah, so, <laughs> so if it does get lost in Yosemite, you're not going broke over 150 bucks. Exactly. Not that you would ever fly in Yosemite. Right. Right, because that would you're be. You're not supposed to. Yeah. But the amazing thing is, is we, we partnered and developed this with the help of ArduPilot.org. So Andrew Trigel has been our main uh, programmer in helping us bring this board up. This board was designed by Philip Rouse, who's the, the father of the Pixhawk 2 Green Cube that's shipping now. That's actually a, a really awesome flight controller replacement for the 3DR Solo. So it upgrades that brain to a whole new level. and. Uh, 3DR just released uh, uh, the base say, code what's for the Solo. On? Yeah, so they, they released all of the, the base code for the Solo development and they're handing it over to the ArduPilot.org community. So the Solo is going to live continuously through development. So now, unlike the Solo, which there's not that many pilots out there, which is of course why 3DR is no longer... Right, right. they went private industry yeah. or site mapping or something. Basically, you guys didn't buy enough Solos. I, I have three. Yeah, but, but <laughs> if everybody had done like you, it, 3DR would still be making solo two or three or true, four. True. The big difference here, you guys are going to make like what, three, four, five thousand of these? Uh, no. Uh, the initial production run on these right now is a hundred thousand, and then we're going to be increasing numbers uh, as orders come in. So, so you're thinking a lifetime run of maybe a quarter million of these? Oh, uh, possibly even better if the community latches onto this, uh, because I, I think they will. Um, uh, as long as the orders keep coming in, we'll keep making them. But, or, but by Christmas this year, there's going to be 100k of these on the market. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, and this is really interesting, guys, because the Phantom 1 sold in that kind of numbers, but this is a product that's $150. And that's really what's changing the industry. Yes. Because the quantity of these drones, they're now becoming just like having a watch on your arm. Everybody has them. Now they're 150 bucks with GPS, with 720p, built-in recording, etc., etc. I mean, my Murphy's camera is, is like 80 bucks. Yeah. And for about twice, two Mobius cameras, I get a flying Mobius, basically. It's because creating a 4K camera with the industry standard best and the best flight performance as of this year, that's of course expensive and it's a very narrow niche because only a few 
discerning photographers really want that. Most people want to be able to post some video to Facebook, mm -hmm. and this one has that built in, basically. Yeah. And for those of you who like to tinker, I want to show you something that I absolutely love about this. I love the thing, so. Well, the, the Wi-Fi card, uh, the video uh, Wi-Fi card on here is accessible. So when you connect to this address, this is the whole thing right here. So we go into system status, and there's our uptime, there's our voltage. We have our IMU, and he's running accelerometer and gyro data, magnetometer data. So is that streaming through the web, through this through page? From the Wi-Fi board, yep. Oh, so you're logged into this one now? Yep, I logged that, right to that. page on the... Yeah. Got it. So uh, we, we have our regular app, so the app can also show, or streams you the, the video, but this was something that we started for development purposes, but we actually absolutely loved it. And, and you're so making we're it available it. so people can go ahead and check it. Yep, check it. exactly. Awesome. So we already have a good lock. We've got six sats, but that should be fine. So the status light is turned green on the TX because we have right. two-way telemetry and yada, yada, yada. I can even look out from the camera and see what the camera is seeing. Right so you have now. everything coming out of this this thing right now. Yep. Motors, messages, everything. And that's so do you just arm it one here or do you arm it there? Arm it with this and fly it with this. But here's the other beautiful thing. We go into flight parameters. We select all and we have full entire access to every single Argercopter parameter wow. that's out there. All and running. Can you edit them from here? Yes, you can seriously tweak your settings literally on the fly. So this while is, the frame is in the air, you can be go like in. a cult drone, just like a we're hoping, like a teeny whoop maybe. We're hoping it has a lot of potential. It does. It has a lot of amazing potential to it. So you can connect to the SSID. You can even change your SSID and password on this thing. But you have access to everything. In so here. and and that's the standard shipping product. Yes. So anybody can buy this, you can go in and fine tune it and tweak it to what you want it to be doing. Absolutely. We'll be doing a calibration at the factory that is uh, that is good, but if you're uh, experiencing some flight characteristics that you might not like or want to change and make it a little more aggressive or a little less aggressive, you can go in and change all of that. The camera is cool, but I could see some people sticking a tiny whoop camera on top of this sure. and using analog goggles. Absolutely. And probably I would want to tweak it a bit more for responsiveness we, because we, I want to be flying it harder if I'm flying with a well, yes. direct camera. And uh, as a default, it comes with, if anybody's familiar with uh, Ardercopter, which I'm sure a lot of you out there are, um, it comes with two basic modes. It's loiter and altitude hold. So GPS mode for outdoors and uh, what we call indoor but, mode, which is altitude hold. But when you're outdoors and it gets GPS, you're not actually mm -hmm. selecting modes here. It's just basically born to fly GPS. Right, we're just telling it, you know, uh, uh, mode one or mode two. But here's the beautiful thing about this, because you're able to go in and change this. All of the flight modes that are available in Ardercopter you can assign to those modes. So I can put this into drift mode, which is a much sportier kind of flying one stick mix mode. I can do that through the, uh, through the, the web page uh, server status on this Wi-Fi board. I can change that at any time and swap out any flight mode that's available in, in Ardercopter. This can do it. And, and then the last thing that comes to my mind, by the way, because we've been talking about these things over a couple of years, mm -hmm. you guys have stayed away from 5.8, and you're going to you go sticking to the streaming instead. Right. We we you're are staying out of the controversy of whether or not it's legal to stream analog video, basically. Well, yeah, and it's not so much uh, our concern. We've actually been working with the technology and trying to find the best way. It's just we have a lot of retail partners, and a lot of retail partners, you know, want to make sure that the product they have on their shelf isn't like one day suddenly going to become problematic. And I can absolutely understand that. So we're constantly aware of that technology, and we're always working to bring the latency down for a, a true FPV experience. But we also have to do it to make sure that it, everybody is happy. And, and by using the Wi-Fi, you're staying inside 100% yes. legal. Yep. Basically. Yep. And, and being it's a $150 toy. So there you have it, guys. The Sky Wiper 
from Skyrocket, $150 at Toys R Us, also available on Amazon, Target. Pretty much wherever Sky Vipers are sold. Everywhere, basically. So there you have it, guys. Check it out. And we're gonna be flying some more. And also, of course, check on the internet for more videos. Awesome.